If I don't take the field sobriety evaluations at the roadside, whether it be a roadblock or a traffic stop, what's going to happen to me? Well, I can tell you what's going to happen about 95% of the time is you're going to be arrested for DUI. Why is that going to happen? Well, there's three reasons for that. First, because the officer is going to claim that in his or her opinion, you were too impaired to drive. Yes, there's no evidence really to show that, but that's what they're going to claim in their opinion. Number two, the reason that's going to happen is the officer is not about to let you drive away and maybe have a wreck and create civil liability based on that situation. And the third reason is that most police officers have a quota. They have to make so many arrests per month in order to remain on the DUI task force, which is one of the preferred duties that a police officer has. So your best bet if an officer is saying, I need you to do the field test, and it becomes sort of argumentative as the officer tries to talk you into it by various insulting sometimes and suggestive things like, well, if you haven't been drinking, why won't you take my handheld tester here? Why haven't you, why won't you take it? Well, say, well, officer, if you have any concerns for my safety, here's my ignition key. I'll leave my car right here and I'll walk home and call someone to pick me up. But I'm not going to do voluntary field evaluations that are designed for me to fail and are subjectively graded. I'm not going to do that without an attorney present. So here's my key. May I leave and go home right now?